Let's sweep the starting five for your Oklahoma City Thunder. At the small forward position, six feet seven inches, number 33, Gordon Hayward. And guard, six eight, number three, Josh Giddy. The other forward, Standing six foot five, number eight, Jalen Williams. A man in the middle, seven feet one inches, number seven, Chad Holmgren. At guard, six six. Number two, Shane Gilgis Alexander! Welcome to 2K Sports. We have a Monday night of basketball for you. Brian Anderson here. With me tonight are analysts Richard Jefferson and Grant Hill. And our reporter, Ali LaForce. And here's a look at some numbers for Ja Morant. And he's had a rough past five games. He's had trouble finding his offensive rhythm and just hasn't been as effective as he'd like to be on that end. But this is something all players go through, and I'm sure he'll fight his way back. And the starting lineup for the Grizzlies. Moran and Bain in the backcourt together. Santi Aldama out there with Jackson. And it's Williams in at the three. And for the Thunder. Inside, we got Williams and Holmgren. Shea Gilgis Alexander is out there with Josh Giddy. And it's Hayward in a small forward. And you look at both of these teams, the athleticism that's on display is tremendous. Oh, yeah, these young boys got some bounce. But what I like is the skill in the basketball IQ combined with the athleticism. That's why you're seeing so many beautiful plays out here. Giddy against Bain. Pass to Williams. Back to Giddy. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. There's that man, Gilgis Alexander. So tough to contend with his quickness. Shane Gilgis Alexander. Two shots. And he makes a first. Yeah, what's special about Gilgis Alexander is how shifty he is, which also makes it so tough on defenses. And he makes both free throws. Now he's perfectly comfortable doing work at the line. And it's Morant with the ball for the Grizzlies. Their last meeting was in Oklahoma City, where they were unable to fight off the Thunder. And last John time Morant. against this team, Three they points. struggled with foul trouble. It led to an ugly loss. They had to rely on their bench a lot in that game, and maybe it instilled some confidence in those guys. And stolen by Morant. Williams on the wing. Back to Morant. Outside Bain. And a great assist by Morant as that one goes. One of the most dynamic passers to enter this league in a while. Morant, this man is in full control of the offense. Giddy finds Holmgren. Hayward outside. From deep, Gilgis Alexander hits a three-pointer. Gilgis Alexander's got five. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. Up top, Jackson. Pass to Bain. Unloads from 13. And the Grizzlies get another bucket right there. 
The team first mindset of Jackson willing to get the ball to his open guys. Well, you really can't say enough about what Jaron Jackson Jr. has done since entering the league, RJ. Yeah, B.A., not only is he a walking bucket, but opposing offenses have to account for how good he is on the defensive end. That's why he was defensive player of the year. Now that's how you use the screen right there. And it leads to a thunderous finish. That was nice. Yeah, you like the pick to set up the open shot. But when it leads to a dunk, okay, even better, we'll take it. RJ, he walks Desmond Bain. He plays with a giant chip on his shoulder. Yeah, not highly recruited out of high school, playing four years in college. Bain was the last pick of the 2020 first round. And let me just say, he plays like he's been sliding. Taking two shots. Shooting two. Free throw drops for Bain. And Bain drops them both. Here in the first quarter, with about two minutes gone by. Pass to Holmgren. Giddy against Bain. And the big finish by Holmgren! Yeah, the defense making it way too easy for Holmgren. Gotta push him farther out than this. Jackson outside. Just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. And up the court come the Thunder on the break. And slam dunk by Gilgis Alexander. Yeah, when Shea goes all out, catching up to him is not an option. And he is gone. Payne against Kitty to the middle. Here's Morant. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Morant's got five. And how great are they playing? Four for four shooting to start this one. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Payne against Giddy. Oh, it's blocked by Jackson. Gotta be careful when Jackson is lurking. More than just capable of sending it back. Picked by Aldama. Inside. Jackson can't get it to go. You knew eventually they were going to miss one. At least you hope. Giddy passes to Gilgis Alexander. Unloads from 13. And the jumper is on the mark. He's got 11. He's putting on a show this quarter, and the team's feeding off his energy. Bain finds Williams. Outside Morant. Williams with the screen. Six on the shot clock. Morant, the pass to Jackson. The shot's good. Jackson Jr. Those are some grown man points there by Jackson Jr. And here's Gilgis Alexander. He'll bring it up for the Thunder. They're coming off that loss against Denver. Just a tough road loss. You're going against players who are comfortable shooting in their own building. You have to find a way to disrupt their focus. Well, they weren't fighting through screens. Their close-ups and rotations were late. You name it, and let's just say they didn't do it on defense. That's three buckets in a row off assists. Timeout, timeout. Timeout called the Thunder. Well, Richard, you filled every role in this league from a big-time scorer to a role player. So are roles defined by this time of the year? Yeah, they should be. Now, obviously, roles are fluid. A, a, a trade or an injury, anything can happen that can immediately change your role. Your goal is to be prepared at all times for whatever it needs to be.
conference standings and see how they look here in December. You look at Oklahoma City, they're in eighth place with plenty of games to be played. And of course, Memphis, back three games. You know for Memphis, when you look at their roster, they're talented enough to turn this thing around. But so far, the season has not come together for them the way people predicted. Yeah, I'm not sure this can be written off just as a slow start. I think this might be the team that they are. Holmgren finds Kitty. Back to Holmgren. Right side, Gilgis Alexander. Grizzlies with the rebound. This game following their win against the Rockets. Thanks to their stellar defensive intensity, they registered a ton of stops in that one. They were hustling to get in front of every play they could, always getting a hand in the shooter's face. And it's Gordon Hayward with the foul. Gordon Hayward. That's his first foul. Personal foul. Second team foul. Hayward against Williams. Shot clock at six. Outside Moran. There's the triple. Williams grabs the board. The Thunder have got five of seven shots to fall. And it's Giddy off the drive. And Gilgis Alexander gets it to go. On the assist from Giddy. Memphis has gone one or two from three-point land so far. Pass to Bain. Moran with a screen on Giddy. The three from Bain. This is that one. Three for four from the floor. The Thunder have got six of eight shots to go. Outside, Williams. Holmgren with it. He's coming off a 13-point game against the Nuggets in Denver. Uh, oh, yeah, and he was piling up the blocks, too. Four of them. And it's about more than just that number. It's about getting into shooters' heads. Now here's Moran. He had a 21-point outing in their last game against Houston. He's more than chipped in on the glass as well. Just a tremendous John effort Moran. last time out. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for the Grizzlies. When you pile up the blocks earlier in games, it really can affect the other team. They lose confidence offensively. And also their pressure defense is paying dividends tonight. Turning them over and getting out in the open floor and running. Now here's Moran. He has seven. Jackson can't get it to go. Looking for the spectacular and coming up empty. Just go to show how tight your timing needs to be on this kind of play. Outside, Williams. Pass to Giddy. Just four to shoot. And they turn it over. Shot clock violation is the buzzer sound. And it's time now to look at who in this rookie class shot the best field goal percentage over the last month. Third is Chet Holmgren. I mean, he's shooting like a seasoned player right now. It has to be exciting for the coaching staff to see him excelling like this. Both teams deciding to change it up. The Grizzlies have got 7 of 11 shots to find the mark. And the Grizzlies call time here.
And the foul the called on Chet foul. Holmgren. Chet That's Holmgren. his first foul. First personal foul. 13 foul. Gets Kitty. Down low. Here's Clark. An outstanding defense from Holmgren. I like watching him use his length on this end. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. Memphis leading. And he's going for the lob. And stolen by Holmgren. And a fast break now for the Thunder. Oh, stolen by Morant. On the wing, Bain. Pass to Smart. Clark outside. Now Morant. And it's Kitty with a rebound. It's one thing to prevent the layup. It's another to do it without fouling. Just terrific defense. And Richard Ja Morant, one of those guys that seems to always be working hard on his game. So much fun to watch. Yeah, he looks to improve every single year and still believes he can get even better than he is now. You gotta love that type of mindset. And Morant gets it to go on the assist from Jackson. Morant's got nine points. He's getting it done offensively, making winning plays at every turn. Holmgren with a screen on Smart. Here's Giddy. He drains that one after two misses. Now one for three. I know it's early, but you have to wonder if these offenses can keep this up. There will be some let down at some point, but these teams, they are built to score, so... The three from Bain. Dort grabs the miss. <laughs> Just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. Pass to Wallace. Wiggins outside. Here's Wallace. Shot clock at five. Nails it from beyond the arc. Now it's a three-point Oklahoma City lead. And what kind of defense was that? You can't give up wide open threes like that. What are you doing? Smart passes to Bain. To the inside. Moran. Ooh, coming through again. Shooting five for seven now. He got right into the flow of this game, hitting five of his first seven shots. Smart against Kitty. There's 31 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Clark on the double. Here's Wallace. And again, Oklahoma City with a triple. And great awareness. Holmgren's so good at reading the movement of his teammates, a very heady passer for a big man. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. I like that. I mean, some physical play inside. He's not about to give up any easy baskets. John Moran, two shots. misses in an era where so many point guards are three-point shooters John ja Morant you know what this man is built different he's more of a throwback Ja wants to apply pressure by driving not shooting threes good on the second one 19 seconds left in the first Gilgis Alexander against Moran. Outside Gilgis Alexander. Williams from long range. And again, Oklahoma City with a triple. Well, offense is the order of the day as the first quarter comes to a close. It's the Thunder. They lead by six. And back to the start of the second quarter in just a moment. The first place, 22.
you're just joining us, we played through one quarter in this one. A chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Thunder. They've really been dialed in from deep. This is a team that has a ton of confidence in their outside shooting ability. And, and another thing, they found the open man. Really playing on selfish basketball, moving the ball around there on the perimeter. Memphis trailing here. So on the floor for Memphis to kick off the second quarter. We've got Marcus Smart, Brandon Clark out there with Jackson. Then it's Jaron Jackson, and it's Kennard in at the two guard. Well, Jackson has become a threat from range, taking and making those shots more consistent. Here's Wallace, defended by Kennard. Wallace, the pass to Biombo. And Biombo slams it home. And one move ahead of the defense. A solid pick. And then the monster dunk to complete the play. Well done. Great chemistry on this play. He understood where to put the screen in order to free up his teammate. And here are the Grizzlies now. After the basket by Oklahoma City. Jackson gets the bucket. His instincts as a shot blocker allowed Jackson to avoid blocks at the other end. He knows how to read his man and get off a clean shot. Here's Wallace. Six points for him. Back to Biombo. Pass to Wallace. Kennard with the rebound. And Memphis shooting it at 61%. A terrific average. And here's Smart. Gilgis Alexander defending. Smart looking around. Jackson for three. That's good. And it's Smart with the assist. Jackson's got eight points in the quarter. The potential of Jaron Jackson is endless. A center who has a tremendous J. Oklahoma City's gone four or five from outside the arc in this one. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Over Smart. Tried to bank it in, but it misses. The Grizzlies have gone three of three to begin the second. Kennard passes to Jackson. And the dunk by Jackson. He can really read the floor. Precision pass in rhythm. And Gilgis Alexander's got the ball here for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Now here's Biombo. Here's Dort, defended by Jackson. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. Pass to Smart. Clark with it. Dort defending. Clock at six. Jackson. The pass to Jackson. Kennard can't get it to go. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. SGA doing his thing in blows. And this is what makes SGA an all-star caliber talent. His ability to take over games. Smart against Gilgis Alexander. To the paint. And the dunk by Jackson. Jackson and with scoring on the rise, RJ. Are today's defenders given enough leeway to do the job? Oh, absolutely not. Nowadays, a lot of minor contact is whistled for a defensive foul. Everything is let's go to the monitor. Everything now is a flagrant one. So his look, defenses are operating at a very serious disadvantage. A headache to track. Gilgis Alexander is a long six foot five with point guard handles and of course that finishing ability we just saw. A different look for Oklahoma City. Holmgren, he's checked in for Biombo. Williams comes in for Wiggins, and it's Hayward in for Dort. For your Oklahoma City, Shane Gilgis Alexander. One shot. Free throw good from Gilgis Alexander. The Grizzlies have gotten five of their first six attempts to fall in the second. Pass to Jackson. And here's Kennard. Five to shoot. 
Memphis needs to get off a shot. And the basket by Clark. And the chess match continues. Seven lead changes already, and we're still in the first half. Williams a screen on Smart. Gilgis Alexander passes to Holmgren. That one's good. And so Gilgis Alexander with the assist. Holmgren's got six. Yeah, it's just too easy for Holmgren. Man, is he fun to watch operate off the catch? Pass to Jackson. Clark outside. Back to Jackson. Inside. Here's Smart. And Smart goes up strong at the rim. They have no answer defensively inside. All right, let's get a report from Ali. Well, Brian, durability is a focus for Ja Morant. He said, quote, the number one thing is being available, working on my body to get stronger and on the court being way more consistent with my shooting so I don't have to go back to the rack, absorb all that contact, and hit the floor every single time. Brian? Yeah, that makes sense. Thank you, Ali. And the Grizzlies with some changes. Aldama comes in for Clark. And Williams is subbed in for Jackson. Here's Jackson. He picked up 12 points in their last win against Houston. And his defense really set the tone. Seemed like he impacted almost every shot that came his way, blocking many. Hayward finds Gilgis Alexander. Holmgren with a screen on Smart. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Okay, let's bring up the list of the top foul shooters among post players this season. Second team foul. At the line for your thunder, Shane Gilgis Alexander. Two shots. First one falls for him. Josh Giddy's checked in for Oklahoma City. throws good from Gilgis Alexander. Memphis has gone two of four from the perimeter in the second so far. Rejected by Holmgren. And you can't forget about Holmgren's reach, especially when he's nearby on defense. And they blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points with a chance at another one at the strike. Defensive foul. Charles First personal foul. Thirteen foul. At the line for your defender, Shane Gilgis Alexander. One shot. Yeah, they, they're really cashing in more at the line here in the second quarter. The Grizzlies have gotten seven of ten attempts to drop in the second quarter. And the Grizzlies call time here. You have to like what we're seeing from Shea Gilgis-Alexander. This timeout gives them a chance to strategize because whatever the game plan they have, it's not working.
left side Bain. Up top, Aldama. He's covered by Holmgren. Aldama, the pass to Moran. Moran with the slam! And man, does Moran put on a show. He's got such insane athleticism. There's the AT&T 5G slam cam, capturing the moment. And here are the Thunder now. Here's Wallace. Six points for him. To the inside. Six to shoot. Holmgren with a screen on Moran. Wallace cranes him with the D all over him. Wallace has got eight points. And so it's Bain who brings up the ball for the Grizzlies. Four-point game. When this game is done, they'll be off to New Orleans as they take on the Pelicans. That'll be the second of two games on the road. Here's Moran. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. From his first day in the league, opponents are going to make him earn it at the line. And look, Moran, he'll give him an easy look. At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw drops for Moran. And the Thunder making a change here. Joe's checked in. The Grizzlies also with a sub. Clark is checked in for Jackson. And Moran drops them both. And so it's Oklahoma City with it. Hayward outside. Williams, a screen on Williams. Pass to Giddy. Floats one. The Grizzlies pull it in. One reason this game is so tight is because both teams are hitting the boards with reckless abandon. Morant looking around, tries to spin move. And rejected. Outside Bain. The three. Fires in the triple. Bain's got 11 points. Oh, man, this has been an absolute battle in the first half. Each team trying to establish itself. The lead just keeps going back and forth. Now here's Giddy. He's coming off a 10-point game against the Nuggets in Denver. And he didn't just create often for himself now. He did a tremendous job of setting up his teammates as well. Here's Moran. Clark with a screen on Giddy. Here's Moran. And then Moran with the jam! What a smooth move by Moran off the pick and roll, getting himself some elbow room to take a shot. Pass to Holmgren. Hayward outside. Now Giddy. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two it's Holmgren, high post. And the shot goes. Give him eight. You want to run your offense through him. A reliable scoring option. Memphis has got three of five to fall from beyond the three-point line in the second. Outside, Williams. Left side, Moran. Tough points from John. Ja. There is bottomless hustle in Morant's game. A little contact, oh, he'll outwork that. Oklahoma City trailing. Outside Giddy. 121 left to play in the first half of basketball. Shoots over Morant, and he tries it off the glass, but it's no good. And his struggles have been apparent. Unable to make an impact score in the ball. Oklahoma City foul. Alexander is checked in for Joe. And Memphis also making a switch. Jackson is checked in. Williams against Hayward. Williams passes to Aldama. Four on the clock. Pulls up on the wing, and it goes. That makes him 9 for 13 now. 
Still a little bit of a streak shooter. Morant has been deadly accurate tonight. Man. Giddy passes to Holmgren. Stolen by Jackson. On the break. Pass to Morant. With contact, John Morant. Talk about putting a team on your back. He has been dominant this quarter, and I don't think they are winning without him. Seven second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Giddy with it. Back to Williams. Screen by Holmgren from the arc. Williams misses. Kill just Alexander against Moran. Fade. And it's in! Oh! Nails the buzzer beater! Are you kidding? Makes his selection just in time. Well done. He didn't even look worried about the time on the clock. Nice way to end a quarter. And that concludes the first half. It's the Grizzlies leading by nine. We'll get right back to the action when we return. Fans, let's hear it for Red Panda. Howdy folks, and without further ado, now's a great time to check in with other games currently in progress. For the Cavaliers, a closely contested game against the Houston Rockets, and still neck and neck there in the second quarter. This game could really go either way, and I don't have a prediction on it. Well, that's, uh, that's great, that's what we pay you for. All right, now it's time to talk about our featured game tonight. Not a great turnout so far for the Oklahoma City Thunder. What I'm really wondering is their communication defensively. They've allowed too many good looks, and that's something that can be hard to correct at halftime. Also, give some credit to the boys on the other side. The execution was on point. Glad you could join us. Ryan Anderson and crew are ready to take it away for the start of the third quarter. Let's get a round of applause. Well, for those just tuning in, thanks for being with us. 
second half of this game still to play. Oh, a fantastic game from Ja Moran in this one. You just love his patience offensively in the first half. Waited until he got the looks he wanted. You love guys who can get their shots within the flow of the offense. Here's Morant. They lead by the biggest margin of the game at nine. Inside, we got Williams and Holmgren. Josh Giddy out there with Shea Gilgis-Alexander. And it's Hayward in at the three. That's the group for Mark Dagnall starting the second half. Oh, I can see some miscommunication on defense there very clearly. They were super fortunate it didn't torch them with that, that mistake. And with a quick break, let's see which rookies are making the greatest impact on the glass. Second, Chad Holmgren. Rebounding is a skill that can easily translate into the pro game. He had a reputation for being good on the boards, and he has certainly delivered on that. And so it's Moran who brings up the ball for the Memphis Grizzlies. Pass to Bain. Stolen by Giddy. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. At the line for your defender, Josh Giddy. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. Second free throw, no good. Memphis leading. Down low. Here's Moran. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. First team foul. At the line for the Grizzlies. John Moran, shooting one. Free throw drops for Moran. And here's Giddy. Pass to Holmgren. Here's Hayward. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Screen by Holmgren. He's feeling it. Gilgis Alexander's shot is good. Gilgis Alexander's got 25 points in the game. And such a clever player in pick and rolls. Gilgis Alexander is unpredictable and understands how to attack defenses. Oh, there's Moran with the slam. Woo! I just love that alley-oop slam, B.A. Defense disorganized, defense paid. Pass to Holmgren. Holmgren with a screen on Moran. Back to Holmgren. Oh, got a piece of it. And the big finish by Holmgren. A short trip up for Holmgren, but there's plenty of power behind his jam. Moran against Gilgis Alexander. Moran, the pass to Aldama. Outside, Williams. Pass to Moran. Just five to shoot. Now Aldama. Lots of room. And a great assist by Moran as that one goes. Morant's got his third assist of the night. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. Fans, please bring your attention courtside. It's the Storm Chasers.
And we're just about two minutes into the final half of play now. Now Giddy, an aggressive player on offense, scoring around 16 a game. Gilgis Alexander lifting off and hammering it down with all he's got. Gilgis Alexander against Moran. That shot off the mark. And so it's Williams with it. He brings it up for OKC. Gilgis Alexander against Bain. And Gilgis Alexander, here we go. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Gilgis Alexander's got 29 points. Moran against Gilgis Alexander. Now here's Moran. Defense right on him. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's going to go on Chet Holmgren. So good at staying in attack mode. When Morant is going at defenses, he forces them to foul him. Drops a first. And Morant drops them both. Right around three minutes into this second half. Gilgis Alexander finds Kitty. Up top, Holmgren. Defended by Jackson. Kitty passes to Hayward. Six on the shot clock. Here's Gilgis Alexander. The kick out to Williams. Launches it. And that comes off the assist by Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander's got three assists now in this one. Now here's Moran. 33 points for him. Outside, Williams. Ooh, the Grizzlies with another miss. The Thunder have got five of six shots to fall so far in the third. Hayward against Williams. Hayward, the pass to Gilgis Alexander. SGA working through contact inside. And force-feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. Defensive foul, John Durant. That's his second personal foul. Second team foul. Find the lane. At the line with the your thunder. One shot. Shane Gilgis Alexander. One shot. The Grizzlies have gotten three of six shots to fall so far in the third. Here's Moran. And it's Holmgren with a rebound. Holmgren's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Hayward, the pass to Gilgis Alexander. Williams with the screen. 16 feet out. And that one's good. Gilgis Alexander. Now just a one-point Memphis lead. Sweet-looking jumper from the mid-range. I mean, Gilgis Alexander just making it look easy. Giddy against Bain. Pick by Aldama. Baseline try. Hits the rim on the way in, and the bucket is good. Bain's got 13 now. And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. When it ain't broke, leave it alone. Until someone stops him, just let him roll. <laughs> They're really working the paint now. The Grizzlies have gone four of eight in the third. And the Grizzlies call time here. And the players take this opportunity to get some Gatorade. Getting some fluids in you is so important during these timeouts. Get fresh. Keep those batteries charged. Yeah, without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a ball game. And that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have to be hydrated.
All right, let's give a nod to defense now with a list of the teams leading the league in steals this month. Fifth on the list, the Thunder. They've really gotten after it at the defensive end, and that's been generating turnovers. Alexander. And it's Oklahoma City scoring again. <laughs> They're not messing around. Five of their last six buckets have come from the interior. Outside Bain. And he lobs it up to the rim. Out of bounds. Of the Oklahoma City's ball. And here's the schedule for the Memphis Grizzlies. On Tuesday... They'll go up against C.J. McCollum and the New Orleans Pelicans. And then on Thursday, they head back home to host the Indiana Pacers. Checking out their schedule, they've got a tough run of games coming up, but quality opponents are a great chance for you to see how well your team can truly perform. Clark has checked in for Memphis. Holmgren with a screen on Moran. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander takes the contact. They're in strong position coming down the stretch, and he is a big reason why. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Thunder? Look, they're getting good looks inside. It's been a point of emphasis all night long, but I love this hard-nosed attitude of this team. Well, another thing they did well was taking advantage of the holes in the defense. Very aggressive in exploiting the lack of concentration. That free throw good from Gilgis Alexander. And so Moran will bring it up for the Memphis Grizzlies. Clark with a screen on Gilgis Alexander. Clark against Hayward from deep pain. Ooh, the Grizzlies with another miss. Oklahoma City's got five of seven threes to drop here tonight. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Holmgren with a screen on Moran. Gilgis Alexander no good. Memphis has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Now here's Smart. Gilgis Alexander with a steal. SGA using the link inside. As they set their sights on locking up the win, he has to do everything in his power to make this happen. Moran against Gilgis Alexander. Looking to end the run. Morant with the slam! I don't know, but it seems like Morant's got springs or something in his shoes. Impressive looks on the AT&T 5G slam cam. Thunder with a lead. Williams with it. A reliable offensive contributor, putting up almost 14 a game. Got it. They just look so overwhelmed inside. Yeah, that's why they continue to get attacked. Gilgis Alexander against Moran. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. It's going to go on Shea Gilgis Alexander. At the line for the Grizzlies. John Morant, two shots. And the first one at the line is good. They're doing some good work at the line this half. Lou Dort, he's checked in for Oklahoma City. He makes the first, but misses the second. And Oklahoma City shooting about 70% from the floor. Hard to do better than that. Outside, Williams. Pass to Giddy. 
Hayward against Jackson. Five on the clock. Back to Giddy. Fires the three. Knocks it down from distance. Giddy's got six. He can really stroke it from deep. You have to keep better tabs on him. Clark with the screen. Moran with it. Over Gilgis Alexander. It's hauled in by Hayward. Credit the defensive effort there, not giving him room to operate. Gives us a chance to catch up with Ali LaForce. Brian, the Grizzlies are one of the younger teams in the league, and they're already a force to be reckoned with. Desmond Bain said, quote, we have a great organization here that really believes in all of us, and that does a lot for players and their development. We're really focused on just playing to our standards and continuing to grow. VA? That's a great point. Good perspective. Thanks, Alex. Moran, no good. I'd like to see him a bit more efficient. He has not been great this quarter. Here's Gilgis Alexander, and the layup is good off the glass. Gilgis Alexander's got 45 points. Yeah, and Gilgis Alexander is a fighter, someone that challenges the defense and bullies his way through contact. Moran, pass to Jackson from 15 feet away, and Moran with the basket on the assist from Jackson. Jackson. Moran's got 12 now in this quarter. Are you serious? I mean, he made the defender look silly right there. Just an epic move. Smart against Giddy. Hayward outside. Pass to Dort. Gilgis Alexander with the ball. Oh, drew the foul and almost hit the three-point bucket. But he'll head to the line for three. Ja Morant picks one up. At the line for your Oklahoma City, Shane Gilgis Alexander. Three shots. Three shots. Three shots. And he's good on the first of three. So it's both teams making substitutions here. And he sinks the second. And he can't make it three for three. For Memphis, they've gone six of 13 to open up this second half. And Kennard with the three. Kennard's got himself on the board with a three there. The vision, the ability to throw every type of pass. Morant's already reached an elite level as a playmaker. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. Smart outside. Pass to Kennard. Moran against Gilgis Alexander. And there's a whistle. That'll belong to Shea Gilgis Alexander. That'll get him his fourth foul of the game. And yeah, he, he still was moving at the point of contact. Jang, he's checked in for Oklahoma City. Josh Giddy comes in for Shea Gilgis Alexander. Twenty seconds left in the third quarter. And here's Moran outside. And again, it's the Grizzlies from deep. The consistency from range, that's something that Moran has worked on early, and it's made him unstoppable. Outside Giddy to the middle. Two on the clock. Here's Jay. And the powerful one-handed slam. Nice one-handed jam. Simple and effective. Hey, with the lead, I'm surprised he didn't come up with something a little more creative. What a performance for Shea Gilgis Alexander. He has been the story for the Thunder. Oh, what a quarter. He was absolutely on fire offensively. More 2K action in just a moment.
And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm Assist of the Game. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. You've got to admire the vision just as much as the accuracy. Not many players can even spot that pass. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. On the court for Memphis to start the fourth. Moran and Smart in the backcourt. Jackson out there with Jackson. And it's Kennard in at the three. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. And it's good. Two points. Gilgis Alexander's got 49 in the game. Here's Smart. Pass to Kennard. And he lobs it up. Oh, there's Morant with the slam. Morant has a ridiculous motor. This man is finding points at all times. He never stops working hard on offense. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Outside, Williams. And the three off target. And so it's Smart who brings up the ball for the Grizzlies. Now here's Moran. Gilgis Alexander defending. Here's Jackson. And he can't bank that one in. Oklahoma City has gotten six of ten three-pointers to drop. Wiggins outside. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Back to Dort. Here's Wallace. Gilgis Alexander with the ball. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. When you're as good a passer and score as SGA, you'll get defenders to bite like that. Gilgis Alexander. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. Both free throws good from Gilgis Alexander. Memphis trailing here. Smart outside. Kennard on the wing. Here's Moran. Fantastic finish inside by Moran. He's been a bright spot in their play today, but he could really use some help. And the Thunder in possession here. Gilgis Alexander surveying the D. Into the lane. Soft touch off the glass. Gilgis Alexander's got 53 points. All it takes is a sliver of daylight, and Gilgis Alexander will exploit it. All right, now a timeout called by Memphis. He's checked in for Memphis. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. I was able to listen in on what Taylor Jenkins had to say to his team. 
he ripped into their perimeter game and their energy level, saying to his guys, you're just running through the motions out there. There's no hustle or desire to chase them off the three-point line or to try to get open looks from deep on the other end. Guys? As always, Allie, we thank you. Moran against Gilgis Alexander. Oh, man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. His fifth personal foul. First team foul. At the line for the Grizzlies. John Moran taking two shots. First free throw is good. Josh Giddy's checked in for Gilgis Alexander. That one misses. And they've just built this lead by attacking the boards. Here's Giddy. Oh, the teardrop falls in. Making the floater look this smooth is not as easy as it looks. It's a challenging shot. We're in the fourth quarter here. Just under two and a half minutes gone by. From deep, Bain. The Thunder pull it in. And here's Giddy. Pass to Holmgren. Shoots over Jackson. And it's Holmgren missing. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. I'm sure they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. Smart finds Bain. The 11-footer. That's in. Coming off an assist from Smart. Smart's got his fourth assist with that last one. Just a heads-up play by Smart, pushing the ball ahead. He knows not to hold that ball when someone has a good look ahead. Now here's Kitty. Over Smart. And it's Bain with the rebound. It hasn't been his best game, but his team is still doing just enough to be up. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Takes it inside. Good! Definitely now seven for 11 on the night. He's bringing a lot of energy to this offense, not letting the scoreboard discourage him right now. He's going to keep putting up shots regardless of the score. That's the kind of player he is. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's a shot he typically makes. Moran, the pass to Jackson. Pass to Bain. Smart with the ball. Just five on the clock. Now Bain. That one falls. Desmond Bain. Now just a three-point Oklahoma City lead. And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at time crucial time moments in the game. And his team needs every Start. bit of his production if they want to pull this one out. It is neck and neck here in the final period. And the Thunder call time here.
Thunder. Williams comes in for Wiggins. And it's Gordon Hayward in for Dort. And Memphis also making a switch. Clark has checked in for Jaron Jackson Jr. Hayward. Here's Wallace. Back to Hayward. Over Bain. That one's wide left. The Grizzlies have gotten five of their seven shots to fall in this final quarter. Smart left side. Jackson for three. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Ooh, he really came close to leveling the score there. You love the intensity out there right now. Close games. Both teams leaving it all out there. Now here's Giddy. It's Hayward on the wing. Clock at four. Holbrook with a screen on Bain. Hayward. And good as it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. He is so tough to guard a guy like Hayward. He just has so many options to choose from offensively. Clark with the screen. Morant, the pass to Clark. Rejected by Holmgren. Pass to Giddy. Back to Williams. Williams a screen on Smart. Outside Giddy. Here's the floater. Ooh, excellent D there from Jackson. He's been off. Still, they're up, so not all is lost. And it's Smart missing. I thought he had that all sewn up, but somehow the defense just threw him off. Pass to Holmgren. Smart grabs a miss. And here's Smart. He'll bring it up for the Memphis Grizzlies. Trailing by five. Clark against Holmgren. Clark, the pass to Bain. Morant with it. Jacks up a three. The three-pointer is John down. John ja Morant. He knocked one deep ball in the first half, but you start to get the feeling he's finding his rhythm out there now. Oklahoma City has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Williams with the screen. Giddy passes to Williams. The shot's good on the assist by Giddy. Giddy's got his seventh assist here tonight. Want to score in the NBA? Picks can really force the D to make tough choices. Now here's Smart with the teardrop, and it's rejected. Now Kitty. Shoots from 12. The three is up. Drains the triple. And it's a seven-point Thunder lead. And this has been the story of the game. A battle fought on offense. Yeah, but I think it's going to come down to who can get the stops down the stretch because that's who's going to come away with this one. Memphis calls timeout. Ladies and gentlemen, you are from
Alexander's checked in for Oklahoma City. How about a big hand for the Thunder New Stands team? Let the beer you. Memphis has gone one for three in the fourth quarter from range. Jackson with a screen on Giddy. Giddy against Bain. Takes the three. He buries it from three. Bain's got 11 in the second half. He's taking what he can get here as a three in each half. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Grizzlies. Grizzlies ball. Memphis has gone two of four from the perimeter here in the fourth quarter. Now here's Moran. There's the three. It's hauled in by Hayward. Bilges Alexander on the wing, pounded by Moran. That's the shot they wanted. It just didn't fall. Tough to watch those miss. I'm sure they'll convert the next chance. Inside. And the basket by Aldama. Not the most effective pick, but he salvages the play with a terrific move. And it's Gilgis Alexander on the drive. Oh, obviously Gilgis Alexander has the will to win. What a relentless effort. And the foul called on Chet Holmgren. Chet's third foul of the game. Third personal foul. Second to five. And there's a minute 45 left in the fourth quarter. Jackson with a screen on Gilgis Alexander. From deep, Moran. The sweat that Gilgis Alexander puts in on defense does everything he can to trip you up. To the inside. Pass to Giddy. The three is up. He's off on that one. Another miss from him, struggling to find his rhythm. Williams passes to Moran. And here's Bain. Back to Moran. Clock at six. Beyond the arc. And yes, another basket. What a night. Arguably the best in franchise history. He's tied the franchise mark for most points in a game. The next basket breaks it. Gilgis Alexander against Moran. Williams is screen on Moran. And Gilgis Alexander, here we go. He connects! It's been great to see guys who don't back down under pressure. He knew what they needed here and was determined to deliver. And the Grizzlies call time here. They're down by three. 44 seconds left in the fourth.
44 seconds left in the fourth. And Hayward has got the ball here for the Thunder. They've led by as much as 10. Kilgis Alexander against Williams. Here's Holmgren. Oh, and Jackson with the defensive effort. It's all about getting a three right here. We'll see what they draw up. Three. Again! What an avalanche! Never in the history of the franchise have we seen a game like this. Here's Hayward, and now they decide to foul intentionally. Yeah, just a must-foul situation to stop the clock. First one drops, and that'll put him up too. The seasoned veteran Hayward, comfortable stepping to the line when the game is so close. And he cannot convert on the second. That misses. Time called here. The Grizzlies decide to talk it over. They're trailing by two. 15 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. All right, guys, what's your take? A chance to tie it up here. And you also have to wonder if they'll try for a three. But they'll probably try for a two, but if something opens up outside, I doubt that they will hesitate to take it. tonight. Good things come to those who take good shots. Morant with it. The floater. He times his blocks almost perfect. Holmgren stands his ground and forces the shooter to commit first. Yeah, and there's no question they have to foul. Now, I'm sure they would have preferred to avoid it. Free throw is good, and that makes it a three-point lead. And he hits both free throws here, and it's a four-point ball game. Tom and cool, and his free throws put a ball on this one. Nice way to finish the game. And so it's the Thunder who come out on top here. What a performance they had here at home today. I'll tell you what, these are the ones that are so nice to win and so tough to lose. I love being on the edge of my seat, never knowing what would happen next.
And now we have Allie LaForce standing with the player of the game. Allie, take it away. Shay, you were using those long arms to be disruptive on the defensive end. What's your focus at that end of the floor? Um, I'm just trying to be as active as possible. Um, and like you said, uh, getting my length involved, something I've been blessed with, and I just want to use it. That activity, that length was noticed. Congratulations. All right, Allie, thank you. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. This is Brian Anderson saying thank you for watching. Now it's time to present our New Balance Player of the Game, Shea Gilgis-Alexander.